You know those cookie recipes that say like, chill the dough in the refrigerator for 24 hours before baking? And for the most part, I don't know if I'm alone, but I'm usually like, no. What? 24 hours, that's like five days. This feeling is the best way to describe the way I feel about falafels. Breakfast, lunch, and or dinner. Crispy yet soft, and it's filling, and it's delicious. Okay, let's get into this one. Dried chickpeas are a must. It's not like a choice, like you're looking for someone's birthday card. It's more like it's one card, and it's the only card, and they have no more cards. Canned chickpeas and or cooked chickpeas do not work with this recipe, nor will they yield the same best results. Simply soak dried ones for a minimum of 12 hours up to 24 using some baking soda to help soften the chickpeas as they soak. What makes this recipe so easy is the fact that you're just dumping everything into a food processor and you're letting that do the work for the most part. You don't even need to chop up the ingredients that well. Basically, just enough to fit into your food processor. But the way we're gonna separate our recipe from the rest of them is the choice of our particular add-ins. For example, you can easily really mix up the greens in here. Cilantro, parsley, dill were today's choices. But sub any of these things out for something like spinach to help ramp up the green beautiful color in there or even the protein value or even some arugula that will give you more of a peppery vibe throughout. In today's display of the recipe, I took an additional step to move these falafels up in competition by not only increasing the garlic that you would normally find in most falafel recipes, but we actually roasted them. If you never tasted it, roasted garlic is a bit sweeter in taste and milder than raw garlic. For my garlic lovers though, another tip, when I make this for the family and I, I like to do a blend of both roasted and raw garlic. That packs in that sweet flavor along with the pungent original flavor us garlic lovers just live for. I added baking powder in here. That is completely optional, but I love it as it helps with the fluff and you know you just can't get enough of the fluff. Or if you decided not to add it, it would just be a tad bit more dense, still delicious. So the next two steps are extremely important and probably where I find myself providing the most troubleshooting. It's making the mixture and refrigerating. When processing the mixture, there is not, let me repeat, there is absolutely no fine line between accidentally making hummus and purposefully making falafel mixture. In other words, it is really hard to overpulse and instead it's incredibly easy to underpulse. I guess to make things clear, when you're done pulsing, if your mixture is still crumbly, then keep going. But if it's more like between a oatmeal and paste-like texture, then you nailed it. And as far as the refrigeration, do not skip, do not hop, do not pass go. Simply put it in the refrigerator and be patient. This is what we call the resting period. During this time, the mixture is gonna to begin to soak, develop flavor, and more importantly, become more sticky and easier to work with. Being sticky may sound like it's not easy to work with, but I mean sticky in the sense of to each other or to itself, so it holds together. From here, we can shape them into balls, patties, toss them into the freezer. Keeping in mind though, if you're going the patty route, do not flatten them out like ballpark hamburgers, nor treat it like it's some type of crepe batter. You're looking for basically something like a hockey puck, not a frisbee. These are very well enjoyed, baked or air fried, but frying is the most authentic way to cook these and produce the best result. But I mix it up, I, I literally do all of them. This recipe can be found linked in the description or you can visit my website, makeitdairyfree.com. If you are able to support, don't forget to sign up for my membership program. Thank you so, so much for everything and being amazing. Until next time, believe in good.
Peace. <laughs>